Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a positive connection from joist to beam and a way to do it without having to use a bracket. So if you get something out of this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So usually when we attach a joist to a beam, you have to have a positive connection holding those two pieces together. Usually we're using a Simpson strong tie bracket. You're either gonna use an H2.5 or this other bracket called a hurricane bracket. Basically it ties the beam to the joist with several nails. But we just got approval from our engineer to actually do it a different way. And I want to show you how we do that. So I have a graphic on my phone. So this was actually approved through our engineer and approved from, the, from Pierce County, which is the county I'm working in for the permit for the deck I'm building, right? What this is, is a six inch Fasten Master Timberlock. Okay, it's a structural screw that we're gonna use to screw through the beam and up into the joist at an angle. So it says here that the prescriptive is that we'll have a Fasten Master six inch timber lock construction screw fastened to a, on a 45 degree angle from two and a half inches down at each joist location to create a positive connection from joist to beam. So we also will have our standard toe nailing that we're doing, but this is kind of the, the final step to kind of lock things together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tapered pre-drill bit with a cutter head so that I can actually cut this into the beam a little bit so that this will countersink some, So cause we're gonna wrap all these beams, okay? And that's why I like using this over a, a steel strap because this will hide better and conceal better and I don't have to spend as much time trying to work around nails and brackets. And then I'm going to take a 5 16 nut driver that fits the head of this fastener. But if you'll notice, I've shaved it so that it goes in tighter to the head of this fastener so it'll drive it deeper into the beam so that it, this isn't sticking out of the beam and creating a situation where I have to sand the back of the board out or try to knock this in further or try to drive it in harder. By using those two bits that I've modified one and use the, the right cutter head on the other one, it's gonna help drive this deeper into the material. Since we're using glue lambs, they are harder to use over a pressure treated hemlock beam they take a little bit more energy to drive these in. So we're gonna go ahead and go up now and get the pre-drill done and get this driven so I can show you how that works. All right, so my engineer said two and a half inches down. So we're gonna come down two and a half inches. So right here, that's where we need to be for depth, okay? And we have to come up at a 45 degree angle. Now these joists are on a specific angle. Uh, I think it's 25 degrees. This beam is 25 degrees. Uh, on angle from the house, which no big deal. We'll just drill up at a 45 degree angle right on here. And I'm gonna start the hole. Then I'm gonna turn my drill at a 45 and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole. And I gave it a nice deep cut. Now I have my six inch timber lock and my bit with my tapered head. And we're gonna go ahead and drive that in. And we're gonna go right through the center of the joist. And there you go. So it's nice and flush. When we wrap this beam, I don't have to worry about this thing sticking out anymore. And I didn't have to add 10 nails to a bracket. Usually I have to add five nails here and five nails here, and then worry about this bracket that's sitting here that I'm gonna try to cover with a piece of fascia. That's all there is to it. That's a pretty cool way to fasten a positively connected joist to a beam. And you just do that once on every joist and then you're done. So. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. I hope somebody gets something out of this video. I know that I would have, if this is something that I'd be interested in that I've never done before, check with your local jurisdiction, your building department, or your engineer to get the approval for your local county, city, or ordinance where you're trying to build your deck in. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow us and leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this technique. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.